Welcome back, friends. It's Anders. Today we're talking brunch cocktails. I know, you're thinking, wow, another list cocktail video thing? Yes, another list cocktail video thing, because we are coming up on Mother's Day. Mother's Day is a thing, at least in the United States. I don't know if it's a thing around the world, but mothers are a thing around the world. And I think that this is appropriate in celebrating mothers. Brunch here in the States is huge on Mother's Day. These are the non-boring brunch cocktails. This video is for all you moms out there. Mom, if you're watching, hi. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes. That wasn't just directed to my mom, that was directed to any and all of you. I think my mom subscribes. Mom, do you know where the subscribe button is? Let's go make some brunch cocktails. To the bar. Every brunch cocktail menu deserves a sparkling cocktail. Number one is the French 75. Now you could do this with gin, which is the classic way to have the French 75, or you could do this with cognac, which is the way they do it in New Orleans. I like both versions, but today I'm doing cognac. So get your favorite bottle of bubbles and you can make it. To make this drink in a shaking tin, add one ounce of cognac, half an ounce of simple syrup, and half an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Add ice and shake. Now before we pour this into the glass, add two to three ounces of your favorite sparkling wine and top it off with the cocktail. This will ensure that the wine and the cocktail ingredients are well incorporated. To garnish, a long, windy lemon twist. Cheers. It's light, bubbly, refreshing. French 75, easy drinking. Number two, the Bloody Caesar, or Caesar depending on where you are. Now, I always associate the Bloody Mary with brunch, and I'm sure a lot of people do. And if you like the Bloody Mary, then try the Bloody Caesar. I got this recipe from my friend Jean Felix over at Truffles on the Rocks. Please check out his channel. Now, what makes it different than a Bloody Mary? It's a little something called Clamato juice, which is tomato juice with the addition of clam juice. It sounds crazy, but trust me, try this. It's really good. It makes your Bloody Mary bloody better. We're gonna build this one right in the glass. So coat the edge of the glass with celery salt and squeeze quarter of a lime right into the glass. One and a half ounces of vodka. Now add two good dashes of Worcestershire sauce. Every time I do this, I screw this up and I realize it doesn't really dash. Now add two dashes of Tabasco sauce, fill the glass with ice and top with about three ounces of Clamato juice. Give it a quick stir, garnish with a pickle and olives. Pretty straightforward. A little spicy, savory, a delight. Next, number three, the Corpse Survivor number two. Now this is what I think of when I think of really good brunch cocktails. It's a gin-based cocktail, all equal parts, easy to remember the build, and it is quite possibly my favorite gin cocktail. It's outstanding, and it revives your corpse, which is what you need at brunch. To make this drink, in a shaking tin, we're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of gin, three quarters of an ounce of Coqui Americano. If you don't have Coqui Americano, you could use Lille Blanc, very good that way as well. Three quarters of an ounce of triple sec and three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice, all equal parts. Add ice and shake, grab a chilled cocktail glass and rinse it with absinthe. I'm using an atomizer, but you could just add a little bit of absinthe, swirl it around and dump it out. Then drop in a cocktail cherry and double strain the cocktail into the glass. Pretty easy, extremely balanced, very delicious. And if you like absinthe, this gives you a little bit of the absinthe. Now, if you really like absinthe, then you're gonna love this next one. Number four, the Mama Set. The Mama Set is an absinthe cocktail. It's actually a heavy hand of absinthe, but it drinks incredibly easy, and I associate it with brunch. Absinthe, almondy, touch of lemon, so it's kind of bright, bubbly water. If you've ever had the candy called Good and Plenty, kind of tastes like that. In a shaking tin, add one and a half ounces of absinthe, three quarters of an ounce of orgeat. Now I'm using my homemade orgeat, but if you can't do the homemade, I have been recommending Library & Company orgeat as a good store-bought option. It tastes like toasted almonds. Then half an ounce of lemon juice, add ice, shake, then add an ice spear to your well-chilled glass. You don't have to use an ice spear. Ice cubes work just as well. And pour it in with sparkling water. The bubbles and the cocktail combine to make a bright effervescent cocktail that is a delight. It's really good. The Mama Set. Well, there we have it. Four fun, not boring brunch cocktails. Happy Mother's Day. Happy world's busiest brunch day to all of the service industry folks out there. Stay strong, make money, Treat yourself to a good drink, and I will see you next time. Cheers.